about 15 years. My name is uh, Alejandro Avila, around 13 to 14 years. Howdy, my name's Dean, Dean Mitchell, Diablo Rojo Tattoo. I am Philip Montoya. I am the owner of Diablo Rojo or Diablo Tattoo Company and Diablo Body Piercing in Austin, Texas, and also Diablo Body Piercing. Feel free to move, it's your tattoo. It's not bad. Yeah, I need mean, yeah. It's a high arm. I think you need real I tattoo in Diablo Rojo tattoo. Broke in at Fine Line in Dallas, Texas. I've uh, had my own shop, Electric Voodoo Tattoo, uh, for 13 years in San Angelo. I like to travel all over around. Sometimes I go to Miami. I tattoo in Banta Black Tattoo over there too. So Diablo started in 2001. I had a few friends that had an idea to open up a tattoo shop. Doug Curtis, one of my partners, was the one that came up with the name Diablo Rojo. He had always wanted to make a tattoo shop called Diablo Rojo. I woke up early enough to get by the tattoo supply shop, be ready to get here, and I remembered I was like, oh, I need seven round stuff, and so I got needles and I needed tubes. <laughs> uh, I wasn't awake yet. We opened up our first location on the drag uh, UT campus above a head shop called Pipes Plus. And it was a tiny little space, maybe 600 square feet in diameter total. Uh, we had four tattoo artists and two pierces up there. It was a pretty small place, pretty cramped, upstairs of a head shop. I start in Venezuela and uh, I was in college to be an architect when uh, I decided with my friends to get uh, our uh, first tattoo machines. At that point, uh, we start practicing, you know, with each other. <laughs> it was a really great time. Came up in 1999, tattooing. Our current location, we moved there in 2003. We expanded, now it's top and bottom. 
much nicer facility, not above a head shop. This is a tattoo I did on myself in 1999. I've been tattooing for about six months when I did that, and I couldn't believe that I didn't just put it on my leg. It was very difficult to do. Yeah, I do it all, black and gray, lettering, traditional, whatever the customer orders. I'll do cover up, I'm known to do that. Mostly Western traditional. Um, I really appreciate a lot of Japanese style tattooing. I feel, I feel tattooing, it's super free. It's a free style of life. And most of it, uh, create, create art and, and drawing, uh, you know, that's one of my passions uh, besides uh, uh, music. Doug Curtis and I parted ways a few years ago. I bought his portion out and now I'm the sole owner. I, I like struggle a little bit and, and I like good tattooing. That's what's important. Cover ups are cover ups. You don't do that too. For sure, my, 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 the one that I love, it's uh, a sleeve that I did on my friend in Florida. All about um, energy, uh, fire, uh, creation. And yeah, that's pretty much the, the theme on it. I don't know, it's a tattoo or I like tribal as well. Zuleta is an amazing artist. It'd be uh, better if I was doing, you know, more stuff on Pinterest. But that stuff's not gonna heal in, kids. It looks good on the skin right now. It's not gonna look that great five years later. Diablo Rojo body piercing started when Diablo Rojo in general just started up. It was a tattoo piercing studio. And we had the tattoo side and the piercing side. Back then, we actually had Ron Garza piercing for us, which was pretty amazing. Body modification artist and now tattoo artist. Uh, the one that I have, my favorite, I got a few, I got a few. My family ones, I got uh, a quote over here. He said, so, Ana Maria is dedicated to my mom. It's the only one, it's the only one over here that, I, that it has color. And yeah, it's right here. You see, it's uh, like a red heart with her name over here. And he said uh, in Spanish, la única mujer que guía mis pasos. He's the only woman that, that, that I, um, he's the only woman that I can, like, <laughs> that, you know, and guide my, my path or something. There is one in Italy. His name is Ruco. He does, he does black work and super solid, super clean. And back in Florida, I got a few friends too. AJ Berry, he does traditional. He's super solid too. He works with uh, Eddie Saraiva. He's a super good tattoo artist too. Edward Arthur is really good too. And in Miami, uh, there is uh, Andy Andy G. He's super nice person and super humble too. And really good tattoo artist. So the website, um, our online retail website is diablobodyjewelry.com. What we are is we're just basically an online high-end body jewelry retailer. Mostly sell American-made implant-grade body jewelry from brands like Anatometal, Industrial Strength, um, Body Vision Los Angeles, and Leroy, and a couple other companies out there. But we pretty much primarily focus on high-end American-made body jewelry. I got Instascam, Peter Dragon Tattoo. Hit me on that. Got an email, pdtats at gmail. You find me at Diablo Rojo. I have an Instagram, it's at Tattoos by Dean. Diablo Rojo Tattoo has its own. Sloop Knot Chronicles. And yeah, you can contact me uh, through Instagram. It's uh, Corcel Negro Tattoo. The crew is good. I was uh, also an RTO in the Army, radio okay. transmitting officer. Being prior military, I identify with military and I identify with just anyone that comes in. And what I want to make sure is that everyone's stoked on their tattoos when they leave that is what is most important when i hear perfect that's when it's okay to me when i hear okay it's not all right pretty much come holler man come get some